Hey Cinderella's, welcome back to my channel. And today our topic is gonna be sunscreen. So with the weather getting warmer and us actually being a little bit, you know, freed from like quarantine and getting out the door a little bit more, I wanted to remind you guys about how important sunscreen is. And I have been guilty of this before. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a couple of different sunscreens that I've been using. And I wanted to show you how to use them underneath your makeup and like basically, you know, what it looks like. And especially for like, if you're like a more of a warmer skin tone or darker skin tone, I wanted to show you some good sunscreens for darker skin tones. Sunscreen is super, super important and you guys know that. And the reason why is the sun can cause a lot of damage. Uh, I have seen clients walk in the door that either have lots of sunspots or discoloration. And you know, as you age, what happens is the skin starts to thin out. So even the damage that's been done below the surface layer of the skin, as you get older, that starts to appear. And I actually am guilty of it too. I have some like brown spots I'm gonna show you when I go in a little bit closer and try some of these sunscreens that I'm talking about today. But um, like the sun is really damaging to your eyes, to your scalp, to your skin. And um, what it does is it causes premature aging. It causes premature aging, which is very, very hard to reverse, okay? You can minimize the aging, the appearance of aging, but you know, if you wanna have like tighter skin, more supple skin, less fine lines, you really need to make sure that you're protecting your skin. And so, you know, it's sunscreen, it's sunglasses, it's your hat, it's a little bit of everything that you wanna attack. I know we all love that warm golden glow, but you can have that with a bronzer you can have that with your makeup so I definitely encourage you make sure that you're protecting not only all over your body but on your face especially and um, some other things that are like happen with you know like prolonged sun, sun exposure is that you start to create like even the ability to get like sun damage and even skin cancers and if you're a darker skin person if you're you know anywhere from like medium olive you know darker skin tones i know like there's a sentiment uh, amongst the community that's like oh well i'm already brown i have a lot of melanin in my skin i don't need to wear that much sun sunblock i'll be fine i have natural a natural barrier to like protect my skin and that's not the case that's not true brown people black people we get skin cancer too and um, I have a really good friend who's a dermatologist. I, you know, constantly ask him questions about like sunblock and what's in sun, you know, sunscreens and what's good and what's not. And I think the one that when I was younger, I always used to struggle with was finding a sunscreen that didn't leave my face looking white. And so you guys remember, you know, if you're ever, if you've ever been at the beach, this is a fruit of the earth, Foti. Cabana Beach Club. I love this particular sunblock for for my body. It's an SPF 50, and the thing that's really nice about this sunblock is that it smells amazing. It has essential oils in it, but it's made. It's paraben free. It's phthalate free. There's no reef harming ingredients. Oxy and there's oxy uh, benzone and oxy. Oc I don't even know how to pronounce this, octinocinate or whatever. This is what you call like a chemical sunscreen. And this is okay for like your body. It's hypoallergenic, it's water resistant. It has UVA, UVB protection. The words that you wanna look for in any sunscreen that you buy, if you can see that word right there, broad spectrum. And broad spectrum is something that should be on every single bottle of sunscreen that you buy. Because what it means is it's protecting you against UVA, and UVB rays. I'm gonna give you a really quick way to remember what you know UVA and UVB rays do. So UVA rays are the rays that actually penetrate below the surface layer of the skin, and those they, they're the rays that like cause sun damage below the surface layer. And so those are the UVA rays, and you want to make sure that your sunscreen is protecting against UVA rays. And then UVB rays, remember B for burn, okay? And uh, UVB rays, basically, they burn. This, they, they make your face look um, tan. They make your body look tan. You know, they, they give like you a tan, like kind of like what you see here because I've been running outside and I kind of have forgotten sometimes to put on sunscreen, even on my arms and my chest and all of that. And it's super important because, 
you know, you can spend like, even if it's 20 minutes outside, you can start to get, you know, especially if you're a little bit more of a browner, warmer skin tone, you're gonna start to see, you know, the your skin turning very, very quickly. And, and that's the sun working really, really hard, even with like the ozone layer and just like, how powerful the rays are these days, like the depleting ozone layer, like you have to be even more on top of your A game, okay? So make sure any of the sun protection that you select, it, it, you have to make sure it says broad spectrum on it. So here's another myth. I used to think that if I put on my CC cream on my face, it has SPF 50. I, I love the artistry. Ideal Radiant, you guys have probably seen me use this like in so many different videos, but I absolutely love the illuminating CC cream. It does have SPF 50, it's a broad spec spectrum sunscreen, um, but it says sunscreen cream. And I used to think that just wearing a, a CC cream alone is what would be like perfect and you know it would be fine for my skin but it's really not the case like this you can use as like a layer on top but you really this is like a cream like you're not going to be spreading it all over and really where do you apply sunscreen you're applying it all over your face you're applying it on your neck on the top of your chest on top of your ears like you really even on the top of your hands like whatever's left you because you can get sun damage even here so you really want to make sure that you're you know protecting all over and this cc cream any cc cream that you decide to use i just happen to love this one the color is medium and even when i'm like a more of a tan i love it because i put it like right in the center of my face and like spread it out and it gives like that very fresh type of face and it has like re light reflective properties in it to just give you like a summer glow but it is matte i mean but that's like your cc cream you're not going to just use cc cream as your, your sunscreen i'm going to talk about three different sunscreens that i have here facial sunscreens i have here the skin SkinCeuticals physical fusion uv defense sunscreen you can see that and this is SPF 50 and it's a mineral. All these are mineral sunscreens, which I prefer. They're less irritating. Sometimes I've had clients when I work with like my brides and stuff, so they'll say, oh, like I break out to anything that has sunscreen in it, especially in their skincare products. But the thing is, it's probably if it's a chemical base, that's what they're breaking out to. But the mineral products are a lot more, a little bit better for like sensitive skin. And I love it because it's like very liquidy and this is not a CC cream, this is an actual sunscreen. The next one is Ideal Radiance UV Protect SPF 50. And that's a broad spectrum sunscreen. You can see what that looks like. And this has no color. This one, by the way, um, I meant, forgot to mention the SkinCeuticals. This has like a tinted, it's a tinted fluid. And this is like a whitish fluid. And then the last one I'm gonna talk about is the Kula Mineral Face Sunscreen. And again, it says face sunscreen is sheer, non-greasy, fast absorbent. There's plant protection in it. So the nice thing is here, their, their thing is like, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's reef friendly, it's cruelty-free, antioxidant rich farm to face, which I don't know what all of that kind of means, farm to face and all this stuff. If you guys know and you're watching this video, definitely comment in the link below and let me know what, what some of that stuff means because I have no idea. Like I noticed a lot of the sunscreens that I've been like reviewing, they'll say something like Hawaii reef friendly, thoughtfully sourced with global ingredients, okay, which is fine. This is fragrance free. The other thing is you do want to kind of stick to sunscreens that don't have a fragrance. You'll have less of a um, issue with like breaking out, having sensitivity. And you'll notice I don't have anything on my face. I do my eyes, I have a little bit on my lips, but I didn't put any face foundation or anything on like purposefully because I want to test these right on this video. And I want to show you guys what they look like on my skin tone. So if you're like, you know, if you're like a similar to me or a little bit darker, you're gonna really be able to see live what these look like on like a brown person. But before I do that, I wanted to share one thing. All three of these products and all like mineral sunscreens, what they have is they have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So zinc oxide is what makes your face like have like a whitish cast. So in any product, the more zinc there is in that product, the more you're gonna have like a whitish cast on your face. 
And then the last, obviously, it's gonna be less, but all of these, those ingredients, the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, what they do is they protect your skin from getting UVA and the UVB rays. So it's important to have those in there. And these three, they, different, they have different levels. So I'm gonna go through each of them. So the SkinCeuticals has a 6% titanium dioxide and a 5% zinc oxide. And it probably has lower percentage of zinc oxide because I think it has that tinted fluid in it. It's a mineral fluid. And you do, you know, you do shake it and stuff when you're using it because of the color too. And then the Kula one has 2.7% titanium dioxide and 8.3% Zinc oxide is more of a whitish formula, but this is a, a matte, sheer matte formula. These are a little bit, these two are a little bit more like a dewy, liquidy type of formula. And then the last one, the Artistry Ideal Radiance, it has 2.49% titanium dioxide and 12.66% zinc oxide. So a lot more zinc oxide in this one. So I'm gonna put them in order actually, and I'm gonna put them on in that order. So lowest zinc, medium and highest okay so there they are and one more thing if you're wondering like how often you should be applying sunscreen when you're outdoors every two to three hours you really should be reapplying it doesn't matter if you got in or out of the water it doesn't matter if you sweated or whatever it is you should be reapplying it so this like these bottles they shouldn't last you like the entire summer and then the summer after that and you get my point okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do like the swatch method the swatch method is like what we use when we're us makeup artists or like testing foundation and stuff and i'm just gonna go ahead and like first show you like what this like you can kind of see it's very like liquidy so you can see the color it's kind of light right it's like a light beige type of color and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right here on the side of my face Okay, next I'm gonna use the Kula and let's see what the formula pop comes out like. Okay, so it's definitely more of like a gel cream, not a gel, but more of a cream. So you can see that there. Place some light on, because it has the most zinc in it. So you guys can see, if you're ever wondering like when you're picking a product and you're like a little bit more brown skin tone, like whether or not like, this is gonna look really white on you. You can kind of see. And I put a lot on, but I'm gonna go ahead and now blend this into my skin. Then there's the Kula. And you can see that there is a lot of white. And then there's the Artistry. So you can kind of see that the SkinCeutical one, even though it looked um, very like light beige, it actually blends it in the best. What I'm gonna do is since I still have product on here, I'm gonna do this on my forehead because I feel like it's a lot darker um, than this part of my face, which is naturally a little bit lighter because I wanna kind of give you, and even like the chin area. So I'm gonna go ahead and right now on the chin area and I'll also do some on the forehead area because I really wanna like show you guys like what this looks like and what you know under makeup it's not gonna matter as much i'm gonna even go as much in and i'm gonna show you because i'm gonna use my cc cream on top of this which even if it's a little bit lightish or leaves like a white cast if you're putting product on top of it like a colored product you're not gonna need to worry because it'll be fine it's just if you're if you're just doing it on your like if you're not putting any makeup on top you're at the beach applying it on your face and then just going then you're probably not gonna wanna do that. Okay, so here's the Kula one, and the Kula one, I, I noticed, it has a little bit of like a beige-ish tint to it. So I'm gonna put that on the other side of my forehead, and it leaves a little bit more of a, a lightish appearance, but not like so much that I can't. Let's do, look at this one now, the Ideal Radiance. Yeah, and that's like, this is because there's 12% in here, there, it definitely leaves a little bit more of like a whitish cast to it. The little bit higher, I, I believe, the higher the level of zinc, the stronger the protection is for it. But you just have to keep reapplying. And I mean, <laughs> this side of my face looks lighter than all this entire cheek because I haven't put anything on there. Isn't that interesting? It's like a, like almost like a grayish cast. 
we're done with that. I think I'm gonna go with, even though I'm gonna use a um, CC cream on top, I'm gonna go with this tinted skin SkinCeuticals. I really like the formulation. I really like the fact that it's a little bit of a tint to it and it's still a sunscreen and not a sun cream, like what the Ideal Radiance states. I'm gonna go ahead and just massage it all into my face. Also, just a tip, um, when you are applying sunscreen and you're putting it on your face, put it on your hands first and then dot it across your face. Don't go like this because you're gonna, your hand is gonna eat most of the product, okay? So you really wanna like place. Anytime you use your moisturizer, you wanna place. The other thing is you can use this and you should use this underneath the eyes, contrary to like not anything going underneath your eyes. This part of your face has very thin skin and it's gonna wrinkle very quickly. It's gonna sun damage, you can get sunspots there. It'll lead to premature aging. So you wanna make sure that you're even putting your sunscreen on all across. And sunscreen, it goes after your moisturizer. If you're more of an oily skin tone and you tend to like start to get very oily in the summertime, you can do like all your skincare, your cleanser, your toner, cleanser, toner, eye cream, moisturizer, or, or skip the moisturizer or use like an oil-free moisturizer and then you can put this uh, sunscreen on. This is, it has a lot of like, I feel like it's very kind of like greasy. I'll get rid of that with my CC cream, but it this is very like slippery. So if you don't like that feeling, then you know, you can skip your moisturizer and you can just go right in with your sunscreen if you're gonna be using this one. So now it's all over my face. You can see my face is, <laughs> it looks a lot lighter now. And also, I mean, I have a lot of light in front of me also, but you can kind of see that. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more on my hands. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck. And since I am kind of like wearing like a strapless type of dress, I'm gonna put this over here. I wanted to show you. I mean, being a, a beauty professional, we're not perfect. We're you know, constantly having to remind ourselves of what we teach. It's it's nice to just be reminded all the time because you are teaching this all the time to other people that you really, you know, you need to make sure that you are, like, you will still burn too. Like, even if you have sunblock, not that you'll burn, but you will still tan, this is what I mean. So your, your the UVB rays will still be penetrated. The nice thing is like, they'll just be more protected. Ooh, I forgot to put some on the end. Don't forget the tip of your ears because dermatologists, if you're, if, it, if there's a dermatologist watching um, or anyone like that has experienced it, definitely comment on the links below, but you can get sun damage on your ears too. You can get skin cancer on your ears. So you wanna make sure and I, I always do this for my husband because his ears turn red in the, you know, when we're in the beach or out wherever. So, okay, there you go. I really like this a lot. This um, tinted mineral fluid, I just really nice. Um, okay, on to my one of my favorite products, especially for the summertime or even when I'm on vacation, is my CC cream. And I want you to think of like sunscreen and doing all this as layering. Like you're, you can layer everything on. So you, you like I said before, you're layering your cleanser, your toner, um, your moisturizer, or skipping the moisturizer if you're more oily skin, and then going in with your sunscreen, applying it all over the face, the top of the ears, the um, decolletage area, like. Uh, you know, whatever is left to use, you can put it on the top of your hand. And then you can layer on the CC cream, which again, it's broad spectrum, but it says sunscreen cream, okay? I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And I'm gonna, right in front of you, I'm gonna transform this makeup look, like this look of going out, and give myself like a little bit of a bronzy type of tan. So there's my CC cream. All right, and I just, I will do, I'll put it either on the back of my hand, or another way I apply it is right across my face, like, and I just dot it across my face. So, here we go. What I love about it is it looks so natural, and because CC, CC stands for color correcting, it's actually canceling out any of the redness that I have in my skin, any of like the sunspots, the discoloration, that looks so nice. And it's just giving me like a really, like a nice hint, a glow. You can see the difference from one side with the other, okay? And you know, that little bit goes a long way. This thing lasts me a long time, I'll tell you that much. And I'll link all the products down below 
if you do choose to purchase them, there are certain ones that I get like an affiliate commission on, but no pressure. You can buy what you want, buy what you like. I just wanna make sure that you guys, you know, get something out of this video. You know kind of like maybe what options you have if you're more of a browner skin tone person that's watching this. You know, you just are out there taking care of your skin, which is more important. Wow, that looks so nice. I don't even know if I really need, and that's why I love using the CC cream, because sometimes I don't, like I don't even know if I really need um, a concealer. I'm gonna add one just like on top to brighten up. I'm gonna show you which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and that's like the benefit when you're using, when you're using good skincare, you're taking care of skin that's underneath, and then you're using good sunscreen products and good like CC, you know, face products, it does make a difference. Sometimes, you know, and these are all under $50, guys. Everything I use, under 50 bucks. Some even less. Okay, look at that. Giving myself a little bit of a glow. Yeah, so what I was saying was like, that's, that's the difference. Like when you're using good product, it makes a huge, huge difference. Okay, so all I'm doing is concealing. I'm taking my sponge and I'm pressing this in. And I only even like kind of skip a lot of the um, powder on my face because I want that like dewiness and, the, and it's a CC cream so it's meant to kind of last a little bit longer. It may look a little bit light right now but what you'll see as soon as I put my bronzer on which is going to be my last step and then I'm basically done is it'll just like all blend in. That's, that's kind of like the beauty of highlighting is when you highlight and then you do like a little bit of a bronzer. This is like a this is one of my like go-to like summer looks. Like on vacation looks, this literally takes me maybe like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to do. Last thing is my bronzer. I'm gonna be using the MAC um, Give Me Sun Bronzer Mineralized Skin Finish. So let me show you what that looks like. And I'm just gonna, um, bronzer is meant to be applied like almost think of like where the sun hits, right? You see, you saw my automatic like kind of tan that I had on my face, right? My, the center of my face was a little bit lighter. You have all the, like the sun was hitting all around here. I was like dark all around here. So you kind of, and like for, think of like an E. When you draw an E, this is the top of the E right up here. Then this is like the middle of the E, right? That's the E right there. And then the bottom of the E is right here. So that's like how you want to apply it, like your bronzer. I'm gonna do one side so you can kind of see what that looks like, what immediately, wow. And I'm gonna do the other side, same. Think of that invisible E, mm-hmm. And if you have that sun kiss glow, you can, if you want, you can add a little blush to it, or you can use the bronzer as your blush, which is just what I'm gonna do. Keep it simple. I have a date at Michael's. Everything is open here, like all the stores and stuff, which is so nice because I can go and start decorating my house. We moved into this house like in January and I barely had like the time to like actually buy the things I wanted to. I mean, you know, we did move from a full house before, but when you have more space, you just want to buy more stuff. Wow, look at that. I'm looking quite bronzed. All right, and then if you feel like you have too much, you can just take a clean brush and just like blend it a little bit. I'm gonna do that. Hang on. Here's my big fluffy brush. There's nothing on here. I'm just gonna blend everything out a little bit. I'm all about like no harsh lines and just making everything look super, super natural. There we go. Ready for the outdoors. So I hope you guys enjoyed my take on different sunscreens and which sunscreens to look for um, when you're, you know, maybe a little bit more of a darker skin tone. The more zinc it has, the more of a whitish cap it's gonna give you, the less zinc, but if you're looking for something that has a little bit more of a tint, I, all three of these are actually really, really great sunscreens, especially if you're gonna layer and put them underneath whatever you're gonna put on top. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You do want to pick and invest in like good quality sunscreens though. And the one thing I'll say is do not take this and put it all over your face. It's for your body, not for your face, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed my review on facial sunscreens and why you need to use them. 
go out there, enjoy the summer, protect yourself, be safe, be bronze, be beautiful. If you enjoy this um, channel, definitely subscribe, um, hit the notification button so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos every week. And as always, thank you Cinderella, love you guys, bye.